get wrecked for recovery crew so it's day 76 of the redeeming eden cycle tour rect get wrecked for recovery a 48 state four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness each day we pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab and this is state number 38 south dakota on the ride to ragbri 2022 a 4,500 mile loop around the midwest ohio to erie trail michigan's upper peninsula glacier national park kinda uh, Yellowstone National Park, and east to Ragbri the last week of July. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries, and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So we're not actually in state number 38. We're in the Bahamas. We decided to take a little bike trip across the Atlantic. Got uh, on a ferry. Yeah, got on a ferry. It's really nice, beautiful day out here at the beach. Uh, looking forward to this bike ride today. Super cold water. Super cold water. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's just the uh, the pictures here in the hotel. Uh, today, we are headed 54 miles. I wanted to get up and like get going early, but the wind is blowing so strong, and it's a tailwind. Uh, 54 miles to Valentine, Nebraska state number 39 um, you can see the puddles of water I got up at 5 it was raining I got up at 6 it was raining I got up at 7 it was raining and so got up at eight. Uh, I finally got up at 8 and it wasn't raining so we got we decided to go ahead and get started on the day so that's what we're doing uh, 54 miles you ready for that bud no. uh, yeah you are if we can knock it out by 6 o'clock we can be there at the Valentine pool uh, may consider taking a zero tomorrow. I've got to reach out to Courtney Crowder with the Des Moines Register and USA Today and find out where exactly they want to meet us on the Cowboy Trail. Uh, once we get to the Cowboy Trail in Valentine, we are less than like 260 miles to Ragbri. So it's coming up so soon. I know like... we're close. It's like so close. We're 11 days out, 260 miles to go. Like, There's a few zeros we can throw in. We can do more than 30 miles on any given day. It's it's just like we started 20 days ago, and it feels like just yesterday I left the hotel. In Cody, Wyoming. And now I'm climbing that big hill asking me, when's it going to be over? Half a mile? When's it going to be? And now you're just like passing me on the hill. <laughs> But yeah, I'm super proud of you, and uh, we're going to try for 54 miles. We have to do 54 miles today. We're crossing uh, the Rosebud Indian Reservation, so we're going to stop here in town, maybe grab a snack uh, from the gas station. Uh, just as we go through, just take some other roads, go look around. Go look around, and then head to uh, Mission, which is the middle point of our day, 25 miles in. It's hilly to Mission. And then after mission, the last 25 miles is pretty much just a straight shot. It's not downhill, but it's pretty much just level. Uh, so excited about that. There's a big uh, bridge in Valentine when we finally get to there. Excited to see that. Um, yeah, but yesterday I hit my highest top speed. Yeah, 35 miles an hour coming down some of these no, hills. It was like 39. Right? 39 miles an hour coming down some of these hills uh, into um, the White River. We were just on our drop bars. Like, I, I, I was, like, I was kind of shaking coming down because, like, there were so many bumps, and I hit one, and, like, my whole bike came off the ground like a foot. Man. Dangerous. You're a dangerous cyclist. I was watching you the whole way. I was shaking with you. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to get on the road. Valentine has a city park we can camp in for $5, and it's supposed to be on a creek. Um, so we may pull a zero there tomorrow, um, just to kind of balance things out, situate things, and then, yeah, it's Cowboy Trail, so. We can all, we, uh, we, we actually aren't in the Bahamas, look where we are. Oh, we are, we're in, um, 
we've decided to change from the Bahamas. Now we're in some meadow uh, somewhere. Yeah. It looks like Iowa. It does. It does look like Iowa. That's where we're headed, buddy. Ragbri 2022. Yeah, let's go. So uh, we're here in Mission. We stopped at the gas station. We ate some pizza, some cupcakes, some chips, drank some drinks. We made it to 83 Adams Street. Yeah, we talked to a bunch of people, but when we were leaving out of there, we're turning on 83 to keep going south. And it's also Adams Street. 83 is my birth year. So, like, this is pretty cool to me. We're on 83 Adams Street. Highway Adams Street is Highway 83 here. Anyway, thought that was neat. Just wanted to share it with you. Love you guys. See you later. guys so we just rolled in here to uh oh wait i think i think we got something on the lens there much better i had a little excess state 38 on the uh camera there i had to wipe off but how about this state number 39 nebraska it just came up too quick it came up way too quick it came up way too quick I mean, we've only been in South Dakota for 10 days. Yeah, about 10 days of riding in South Dakota. We knocked it out of the park, buddy. South Dakota was amazing. I enjoyed spending every moment with you in South Dakota. And the next state after Nebraska, we only have 200 miles, is... Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, man. 200 and something miles left in this state. And then it's Iowa and Ragbri. So we stopped here at the... Uh, Route 83 gas station, uh, I don't remember what it was called, Plaza 83 gas station, and uh, when we were leaving, I broke my old glasses, the glasses I just had, so new state, new shades. We can't do that every state, though. <laughs> but yeah, um, we got some pickles, we got some uh, pepper jack and uh, salami wraps, we're proteined this, up. There's this rock. 
Yeah, in this casino parking lot, there's a rock, and over the top of it, it says South Dakota, and the other side says Nebraska, so we're going to go figure out what that is. Anyway, just wanted to celebrate state number 39, Nebraska, the good life. With nine miles left to go to Valentine. Yeah, nine miles left to go to Valentine, Nebraska. Super exciting. We're going to go spin around, check these things out. See what time it is so we can go jump in the pool. Yep, try to beat this pool. Uh, Liam is just crushed today. I think we've got like a 13 mile an hour average right now. Uh, just downwind. You can see the flags blowing like it's just, it's been pushing us all day. 12.5 mile an hour average. Loving it, loving it. And loving state number 39. Thank you every single one of you that has helped make this happen. Thank you for support your support. Thank you for your prayers. And let's go find out what's in state 39 together. I'm halfway in South Dakota and Nebraska. <laughs> Good job riding across South Dakota, buddy. Yep, so it is the Nebraska South Dakota marker stone. It's got a 47M South Dakota SD on that side. And then there's like an N on that side right there. Uh, cool stuff. They'll remove the ancient landmarks the uh, ancestors have set. That's one of them there. So. Uh, now, we're going to catch these tailwinds and boogie. Valentine, Nebraska, here we come. All right, so Valentine, Nebraska, state number 39. We rolled into the city park. When we rolled in, we actually met a guy named Breon uh, who was waiting on his son who's cycling from San Francisco to New York. And I asked him, I said, is his name Forrest Charles? And he said, it is. And I was like, Betsy and Wayne told me about Forrest, like linked us up on Facebook. Uh, and yeah, like we've been in, in Facebook contact, so we're actually going to be staying at the same park tonight, uh, which is super cool. Uh, also, we had met another cycle tourist named Don uh, back in Murdo, and I put his picture in the video, but we didn't talk about it. It was just kind of like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing, but he ended up giving us bagels. We were going to go out to dinner together, and we were napping when he texted, and then... Uh, when we when he texted back about the bagels, we were down the road, so I sent Liam back to get the bagels. It was crazy. Then we uh, met the guy who let me sit on the tractor again. Yeah, yeah. Then we met Brian again, uh, who let us sit on the tractor. But that was back in Murdo. We're in Valentine, Nebraska, state number 39. Uh, you know, forgetting those things which are behind, we press onward toward the mark, which is the high calling of Christ Jesus. Uh, anyway, yeah, like, super tired today. It was really nice having the tailwind. 55.23 miles, and this guy did it like an adult. I, I don't really even, I can't comprehend how he's pulling off what he's pulling off, but like, there was no, there was no hitch in his getup, you know, like, he was, he kept up with me the whole entire day, even climbing hills. Like, there was not a time that I was like, hey, you got to keep up or that I had to slow down to meet his pace. Like he just rode with it. Uh, good thing is, is it's only $5 to camp here and we are on a river. Uh, it's a little Creek. It's not quite a river. So we're both going to change clothes and get in for just a little bit. Then we're going to go eat. 
Yeah, then we're going to figure out food. Uh, may order pizza and get it delivered down to the park if somebody will do that because there is a huge hill to climb up out of here. Uh, we decided not to go to the pool. What we're going to do is tomorrow we're going to wake up early, pack up, go up the hill, go into town, get breakfast, check out Valentine, Nebraska, go to the pool at 1 o'clock, and stay there till like 6, and rather than make tomorrow a zero, we'll start riding the cowboy trail tomorrow evening, which means I probably won't produce a video tomorrow night because uh, we'll be rolling in at dark to, you know, whatever town farther down the road. Uh, but I think that's the plan, that, the general plan that we've come up with today that we're going to um, try and make, so. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and that was up to me. Yeah, and I left that up to Liam. I let him make that decision for us, so. Great call, buddy. I thought it would be the right thing to do. It was definitely the right thing to do. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna pack up, uh, or uh, put up tent. Again, we're super tired. And uh, be done for the day. So this is the end of the video for the day. If you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find us through the Papa link in the description. And we would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. If you know anybody who's actively addicted, anybody in general, please share this with them. Thank you so much, Get Wrecked for Recovery Crew. Every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel, the analytics love it. We do too, and who knows, it might save a life. Don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. That link is also in the Popple link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund which is a fund I started uh, to help families that lose, lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here in the Valentine City Park in Valentine, Nebraska, state number... 39. 39. We love you guys. Jesus loves you. We'll very see you later. Boys. We're very tired. Have a good night.